Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Friday, January 29th. The sea temperatures have now dropped into the low to mid 20s across the southern part of the state. And with high uh, pressure moving in uh, from the north, you can see temperatures have slipped into the upper teens across much of the northern areas. And again, this is going to be the key, I think, to our forecast uh, as we get into Tuesday storm as well. We'll have a couple of clipper systems move by, and that's going to warm us up into the weekend to around 40, maybe even the low 40s. And I think that'll bring us some showers. But we're going to have an Arctic high come in behind that system, and it's uh, going to be trying to settle into the region as a strong storm develops in the Texas Panhandle and moves towards the Great Lakes. And again, how strong that high is is going to determine who gets the heavy snow, who gets a band of uh, very heavy freezing rain, and who gets rain, maybe in thunderstorms. And again, right now, the way it looks, the battle zone has crossed much of mid-Michigan. Again, we could have, a, in this area, we could have anywhere some rain across the southern areas to very heavy snow to the north, and we'll show you some of the uh, snowfall maps. But again, this could change quite a bit. And until we get into Sunday, I think, is before we'll have a really good handle on it. But this area here needs to really watch later forecasts. I think primarily snow as you get into northern lower Michigan. If we take a look at the low-level wind fields, you can see with an Arctic high moving in, you can see the winds are out of the northwest bringing that colder air. And across here in Wisconsin and parts of the UP where the winds are fairly calm, that's where we see temperatures around zero, even below zero. So very cold. But as that moves off to the east, you can see we're going to quickly warm up as we have a long fetch of southerly flow winds that will be moving into the Great Lakes along for temperatures to get around 40 over the weekend, maybe even low to mid 40s across some of the uh, southern areas. If we take a look at the uh, Great Lakes region in general, you can see uh, 20s to the south, teens to the north, single digits, and you can see down to 5 below zero back in Wisconsin, 4 below zero at Iron Mountain, minus 2 at uh, Sault Ste. Marie. So very cold temperatures off to the northland. And if we look at the uh, forecast map for later today, that low pressure system off to our east, the cold fronts uh, moved well to the east. And again, maybe just a few light scattered lake effects, no showers, no, no big deal. Our next clipper system, along with a wave out to the west, is going to bring us some rain showers again over the weekend. Maybe a mix of some freezing drizzle or snow at night. But again, this should not add up to a whole lot. And as we get into uh, Sunday morning, you can see the energy now beginning to come into the uh, southwestern states. And again, that's going to develop into quite a storm. It's going to rapidly intensify as it moves off to the northeast. And again, the big question is where that track of the storm will be will determine who gets the heavy snow, freezing rain, or rain. And you can see as far as some of the precipitation models from some of the different uh, models, you can see the GFS has a big area of around 2 inches of rain across much of the northern half of the lower peninsula with around a half inch to an inch and a quarter across much of the uh, southeastern part of the state. And again, if we go to the uh, next model, you can see to look at the sharp cutoff between very heavy snow and uh, very little snow, probably a, a band in here, about a 30, 40 mile wide band where we can see some very significant freezing rain. But you can see here in Saginaw County, in the southeast part of the county, about an inch of snow with 11 inches of snow as you get into the northwest part of the county. So again, that, this line certainly isn't going to be in this exact spot, but it shows you the pretty sharp cutoff between very heavy snow and an ice storm and then rain off to the south. If we look at the Canadian model, it's a little more generous with a southerly uh, more location of some of the moderate to heavy snow with much of the uh, northern portions of the MAC area possibly picking up a half a foot or more and again possibly uh, three to five inches across the southeast part of the state. So again with these different model variations, in fact the European has the heaviest snow well up in the northern lower Michigan. So again we're going to have to wait and see uh, as these models come together where that storm will actually track. And then you can see as far as the uh, WPC, you can see much of the uh, lower peninsula well over an inch of uh, liquid uh, equivalent precipitation and heavier amounts around a half or an inch and a half possible up into southeast lower Michigan. And again, some of the areas from uh, in, in the Ohio Valley could see some strong to severe storms out of this system too. So we're going to have the full gamut anywhere from a blizzard to possibly tornadoes on the southeast flank of this storm. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day, a great weekend and 73s to all.